back now with the famous award-winning, culturally sharp, sharp-tongued, lewd, Edward Asner. I tried to just, it's an all-inclusive interview, yeah. Let's talk about some of the stars you work with. I mean, to me, I mean, there's no bigger star than Edward Asner, but you worked with some guys that were, uh, when you were coming up and, and a younger guy, you did one of my favorite movies, which is El Dorado, with John Wayne and Robert Mitchum mm -hmm. and, and a young, young Jimmy Kahn. Mm -hmm. um, what was that experience like, and what was John Wayne like and Robert Mitchum? Uh, Robert Mitchum was a, no, he, he, he couldn't have been nicer. He, 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 but I also saw the dark side in Robert Mitchum. I, but they had German Lufthansa pilots staying where we were staying, and I saw him turn on one, and I saw the dark side. Mm -hmm. But to me, he was he was great. The, the, uh, the first day of film, I was in. I was in the first scene, and uh, uh, the Duke tried to intimidate me, and I was very fortunate that I did not get intimidated, and I did my own to intimidate back, and uh, uh, no further conflict took place between us. Because you were a, a tough guy in that film, so you had to sort of hold your own cinematically uh, anyway. Or with, run for the hills. Run for the hills, yeah. Nice, was John Wayne a nice guy? Well, I, I was opposed to John Wayne because he and Politics. Lord Bond, yeah, I, I could never say, no matter how nice he was, although I must say, when I came to California, the, the best example is Lee Grant, who said, I was married to a communist, I was married to a fascist. Neither one took out the garbage. <laughs> so, of course, yeah. political views, you're at, at logger, loggerheads. Yeah, heads I mean, them. he was responsible for the blacklist, which caused misery to many, many actors. Uh, he was essential to the blacklist. Why would you take the role, then? Why would you even do a John Wayne movie if you felt that way? Well, I'm supporting me. I'm not supporting him. Okay, I got you. The uh, let's go to uh, Fort Apache, the Bronx. Paul Newman, the who passed away not long ago. Great actor. What did you, what was your view? Of I Paul? loved him. I loved him. He was always there when I needed him. Now that's that's a strain. How many times I needed him? Maybe once or twice. As president of the guild, he was sweet to me. He was open to me. Always took my calls, and I think he did great work. I loved his work. I never wanted to miss a Paul Newman picture. Yeah, I agree. You worked with Jack Lemmon in some... But how great, by the way, how great, by the way, to create this Paul Newman's own food. Oh, yeah. And to take all of the millions made from that and to pour it all directly into a charity. Oh, yeah, and he helped uh, our own Richard Petty here just a few miles down the road set up their own Victory Junction camp, which was just like the Hole in the Wall gang. So oh. Paul came and helped us set up that. Did he? Just, just did great work, I agree. Uh, let's move to JFK, the movie. You didn't have any scenes with Kevin Costner, but you worked with Jack Lemmon in a couple of scenes where you played a frightening role. It was a frightening movie, too. But uh, any comment on Jack Lemmon and Kevin Costner? He was one of the nicest actors I've ever worked with. Kevin was lovely, too. Uh, just being around him, uh, but Jack was, and Jack just kept getting better and better as an actor all his life. Unfortunately, when my scene with him where I pistol whip him, I uh, used a rubber gun and uh, twice, without knowing it, I raked his face with the gun and oh, put man. scratches on it. Huh. But he was smiling. He, uh, he kept rolling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he loved it. I mean, actors, actors love to get hurt and survive. A very disturbing film, though. Yeah, yeah. But you never saw a film that was so pilloried and editorialized against as that film. Before it opened, right. the, 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 uh, the arts pages were filled with op-ed pieces right. by some of the biggest writers in the country saying what a lie, what a scandal, what this and that. Uh, you know, I don't even know if they had seen the picture yet. Right. It hadn't opened. Right. But they were out to do that. Yeah. And uh, the New York Times did the same thing when I did the movie Daniel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's amazing they'll do things like that.